Hey, what's up everybody? It's February 14th, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a heart design tie-dye shirt. First, we're gonna run through the materials. What you're gonna need is one pre-soaked t-shirt, rubber bands, rubber gloves, and dye. So your first step is to take the shirt, get all the wrinkles out, get it all spread, and then you're gonna to wanna to fold the shirt in half, right down the middle. This is gonna give it that parallel shape, and this is how you're gonna get the heart identical on both sides. So next you're gonna to wanna to take a washable magic marker, make sure it's washable, if it's Sharpie it's not gonna wash out after you dye it, and it just won't look right. You're gonna to wanna to draw a half heart right in the center of the shirt, So once you have the half heart drawn, you're gonna start at the bottom and just slowly fan fold your way up and keep the lines identical. Just slowly scrunch up and adjust the shirt as you need to and just keep that as a straight line. You want your line to be exactly straight. So just fold the shirt, make the adjustments you need and that straight line will be exactly where the heart is. So once you have your line straight, you're gonna to wanna to take a rubber band and go right across. And that's gonna be your heart. You're gonna to wanna to keep those colors completely separate from everything else. Band however many sections you're gonna want in the shirt. I think we're only gonna go with five colors on this one, so we'll band out five sections. Next, you're gonna to wanna to put your gloves on. Once you're ready to start dyeing, you're gonna to wanna to pick what color you want your heart to be. We're gonna go with red. You're gonna to wanna to go to your line where you did your fold for the heart and make sure you're really careful and only get along that line. That's gonna give you that heart design. It's gonna prevent you from just having a blob or a circle. It's gonna really give it that heart look. So your next section is gonna be the outline of the heart. We're gonna go with blue. That'll give it that nice little purple in between. Don't be afraid to use a lot of dye. That's gonna prevent you from having a bunch of white splotches on there. So once you have the one side dyed, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over carefully. Don't make any messes. And repeat the same colors to the back. Being careful to make sure that you just stick along those lines. All right, so once it's done, you're gonna to wanna to take a plastic bag, a Walmart bag, any type of plastic that's gonna prevent any leakage. So you're gonna to wanna to take your shirt, place it in there carefully, make sure none of the colors are touching each other. Get all the air out, and then just wrap it up tight.
So now that the shirt's dyed, you're gonna wanna let it sit for about eight hours. Um, that gives it time to settle in. The color won't wash out usually. So for me, after letting the shirt sit for eight hours so the colors stay in, they won't wash out, I like to rinse the shirt in a tub, let it air dry once, and then I'll throw it in the wash and dryer one time alone. So that gives it two times to rinse all the stuff out. It gives it time to dry. It lets the dye really set in. I went ahead and pre-made some shirts. That way you could see what it's going to end up looking like. So as long as you kept your dye within the lines that you folded, your heart should look good. If you have any questions, you can comment them below and I'll be sure to answer quickly. If you have any interest in purchasing any of the shirts I've made, you can check out my Etsy. Ew, he got me. <laughs> Ugh. God, this sucks. Whatever, I don't even care. I'm over it. I hate making videos anyway.